What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, playing some more Mono Green Tron. Lost the Dyro, but that's all right. Let's see what we can do. Declare Jagantha. All right, we have one Tron land, a search. Eh, nope, we cannot keep that. We're going to mulligan. Two Tron lands, but two of the same. Not going to be what we need. We're going to keep mulliganing. Ah, uh, key, we need lands. And we're going to keep it instead of going to three. And hope to get a green source. Or Tron land. Up against, all right, Misty Rainforest. Blue, green. Interesting color choices. Uh, we'll just start off with a power plant and hope we get there. I perhaps should have mulliganed a little bit lower, but eh, it's rough. Catria Triome. Forest Island Mountain. All right. I feel like this is going to have a control deck aspect to it. So, there's a chance we're about to be hit with a Field of Ruin. I actually wouldn't mind because we can use the green source. We're kind of presenting like we just have Tron. Yep, nice. Uh, now if we can just get lucky and, hit, and have them hit the mine. Uh, it's a little unlikely because people like hitting the purple power plant. But it's not impossible. Hit the mine, hit the mine, yes! Oh, all right. Well... We will grab a Karn and play the mine and run out the expedition map. Well, we could have actually had, held up Tron, so the Ancient Stirrings probably wasn't the best plan either. Oof. That's going to be rough. And that's a lucky draw. What do we go for? They're holding up two mana. Let's go for the Karn. Actually, we'll take away the run in six. We have that extra expedition map. If we didn't have that, I would have focused more on getting rid of the Field of Ruin. So we will see which route they want to go here. Alright. 
Oh, Lightning Helix. Yep, that's rough. Was not expecting a Lightning Helix. Well, that Sylvan Scrying definitely makes me want to go for the Ugin. So they've got a choice here. Do they keep going after our lands, or do they try and deal some get something out that'll deal with that Ugin? Because the Ugin will answer most anything they put out on the board, if planeswalker wise, even creature wise. So letting that resolve is gonna be a challenge. And they're gonna keep trying to get us off Tron, it looks like. Teferi. Ah, they're going to bounce it. Oh, they're going to bounce liquid metal coating. All right. Draw a card. Go ahead and crack this for green. See what we get. I could, but we'll save that for next turn. Oh, do we want to just start eating their lands? Yeah. Ah, uh, Omnath, all right. Ooh, Omnath without... Interesting. Wasn't expecting to see Omnath. So that pretty much means they're out of counter spells. Ah, all right, well, so pitching a Supreme Verdict, yeah, it's a good move on their part. And we'll put Jagantha in the hand. So what do they have in hand here? Another, nope, another Omnath. That does need to be answered. Uh. 
Yeah, one minus four. Let me think here. Yeah, we'll go for the Jagantha. I think the Warm Coil would be more powerful. Yeah, no, you know what? I can tap better than that. Might as well just have it out in the field. Warm Coil, I think it would be more powerful, but I'm using the Jagantha to try and bait the Path to Exile, which if they don't have... Then if we draw a Golos, we're in a good spot. They still have a full hand, though, which is rough. We've got a board state, though. So eh, it's a catch-22. We've got a board state uh, with a Planeswalker out that they have to deal with. That can control any board state they put out. But they've got a full hand. Yep, there's that path to exile. Get out that worm coil engine. Good timing though, because we would have gotten to use um, Golos had they not. I actually think they're going to have a counter for this. Yep, Mana Leak. But we got a worm coil out. Do they have another path? This will be where they use it if they have it. And we'll get out our Golos. Or attempt. They could have another counter spell. Ooh, all right. That's a pretty good turn. I think we're still in a good spot because we're going to force them, unless they have a path here, uh, but we're going to force them to use some mana before as we can take them to six. What, do they, what are they going to play out? Oof, Teferi. Yep. Um, too little too late, I think, though.
I'm thinking they have another mana leak in hand. Oof, force. All right, that's pretty good. Now, what do we go for here? Right? Yeah, I think we have to. They may have the lightning bolt, but we've got to risk it. And we get the Worm Coil out. Very nice. Uh, we've just pretty much had a decent uh, supply of threats. Uh, they need to answer both our Planeswalker. All right. Well, they got the creature. So they need an answer for Ugin this turn. And they don't have it. Nice. Ugin turned out to be the MPP there. We're going to take the Veil of Summers into the main. Go down and Elvish. Yeah, two Elvish Reclaimers. They're a little weak to path. But yeah. So this is. It's interesting. It's four color Omnath uh, control. It feels a little weak without the. Oh, Titan that just got banned, whose name I've already wiped out of my mind. Because. Uh, Uro. Uro. For, I just I kept wanting to say Oko, but I knew it was an Oko. So, yep. So, it's a four color control deck without Uro. Titan of Nature's Wrath. We're going to bring in a little Veil of Summers. Uh, whenever we land something, that's pretty powerful. Uh, creatures are a little less good uh, with the paths, but they don't have quite as many counter spells. They've got a little bit of burn spells in there, so that is helpful. Decent bit of sideboards. I am worried about that Ren and Six and Field of Ruin combo. We got lucky to get through that, but that's hard to beat. And had we not just had it, we would have been in a really bad spot. I probably would have been better going for Pithing Needle um, when I got the Congrit Creator there. But I was going for... Um, if they didn't have that Lightning Bolt, we would have been able to start eating lands... Um, it would have been good. So that's going for more of the win as opposed to just slowing them down.
Yeah, having Sundering Titan would not have been bad either, but... Well, not in that specific case, but if we land a Sundering Titan against our opponent, that's pretty devastating. Waiting for our opponent to choose whether to go first or not, and then we get to see our opening hand. Crossing fingers for Tower, Power Plant, and Expedition Map, and two threats. Dealer's Choice on the threats. Or, you know what? Natural Tron would be nice. Just all three Tron lands. Hmm. The Veil of Summer makes me want to keep this. Because we can present like we have just Natural Tron. Um, it'll force them to Field of Ruin if they have it. It's a control deck, so we can play a little slower, and by turn four, we can hold up the Veil of Summer. For hopefully not the Golos, but I'll take the Golos. It is a playable threat, and a little bit of dig. Not turn three, but not the worst. I prefer this on the play, of course, but it'll be what it'll be. And just like that, the plan changes. Oh, that's a very good draw. So, Elvish Reclaimer lets us protect Tron here. Which is very nice. We get turn four Tron. And it is something that will need to be answered. Uh, they could lightning bolt it. Yep. You know what? There's no harm in ancient stirrings here. Ooh, sanctum. I like sanctum. Hmm. Well, we're going to go ahead and assemble Tron. Uh, 
put it on the bottom. This will force the field of ruin. Plus, if they hit the tower, we already have it in hand. On a con here. Do we go for it? Yeah, I think we do. See if they can have the counter spell for this. They do. All right. will be the last forest. Yep. Oh, they can double. Uh, I didn't think of that. Oh, yep. That's it. We're in a bad spot now. Yep, that is going to be a tricky spot to get out of. Play an extra mind as a little bit of defense. Keep going after that Renin Six. Put Jagantha into hand.
Okay, cool. They're going to go for the Trium. Which means they're looking for an answer to the Golos. We're going to go to combat. Go for a con great creator. They're going to hard cast force, but that's fine because we have a veil of summer to try. Do they have the counter spell? They do. Well, we're going to force them to use that field of ruin this turn. We have a lot of mana out. We're not in a good spot here. Luckily they don't have, or at least they haven't played a Jace. Uh, Jace would be pretty bad. Three, four, five, six. All right, we do have the ability to crack this. Try and land the Jagantha. Unlikely given the number of cards in hand, but possible. Snapcaster Mana Leak. Yep. The good news is if we can draw one more, we can play Karn next turn. We are two mana off from being able to use the Golos. Oh, and that's going to be game. We need to draw a Karn. Yeah. Oh, that is just rough. Yeah, Karn. Great creators are best draw. Oh, look there. See if they protect the Ren and Six. Yep. Uh, now for the test. Do they have a counter spell up?
We'll take a pithing needle here. But they got a counter spell for this. All right, maybe not. Uh, they may have artifact removal though. Nope, cycling. They are at 10. Uh, how many paths did they pull out is going to be the question. do we want we're gonna go for the liquid middle coating an island right yep all right nope uh, can we do anything that we really care about I guess we don't attack here because we want to try and preserve the Karn. Let's try and force the force field. Try and force the field. All right, well, they didn't fall for it, but. Lightning bolt. Oh, Jace. Yeah, Jace is not good. Um, ooh, yeah, this is actually pretty bad. Oh, good. Cool, I thought they were going to bounce the Golos. So we're not out of it yet. Oop, but that's pretty bad. We'll attack the Jace. on the time we could go for a timeout on this one
Oop, there's the path. That's pretty rough. Yep. I don't like it, but we can eat away a bit of his time. Got a lot of lands, but no way, way to kill me. Yeah, there's his way to kill me. All right. Usually I don't like to go for the timeout, but we're in game two. Uh, I don't think I can actually finish game three. And I don't think he can finish game three either. So it is in the rules. Just gotta make sure our time stays higher than his time. Three Ugans. All right, we're about two minutes ahead. We'll go to game three. Tron can get the quick win. I'm not sure his deck can get the quick win. So we shall find out. We do get the play. We are going to try and win here. It's not like I'm not going for it. But yeah. Long game one, long game two. Luckily, it's going to be a short game three. Well, maybe not short. I mean, technically, we have about ten minutes to play here. It's still anyone's game. He can come out with a, a hand that'll just run me over. We're just going to focus on keeping our time higher just in case. The strategy that only works on MTGO, it's... Tournament play, it would actually force a tie here. Would you like to play first? Yes, yes, I would. Declare Jigantha. Take a look at this opening hand. Nope, can't keep that. Uh, no, can't keep that either. We need Tron. Well, you know what? We're going to keep it. Yeah. It's kind of rough.
Ooh, this is take this is costing him. We'll keep pitchworm coil. Done. Power plant, chromatic sphere. We are counting on the top five. Crack for green. Ancient stirrings. Grab a tower. Any order. Play a tower. We could really use a forest here. Hopefully we can top deck a mine or green source. We do not, all right. If that's the case, we're gonna tap three and get Jagantha in hand. Yep. Gotta keep an eye on the time. What will our opponent do here? They could go more for the more. Oh, yep, second field of ruin. We'll go for the Golos. Counter spell? No counter spell. Let's see what they have. All right, they're going for the Omnath. Going to gain a little bit of life. Do we gamble? I think we do. Ancient stirrings. Hoping for a mine. But we'll take an expedition map. Next up will be Ulamog. Gotta play quick. I actually think we can get the win here. We'll take the two triomes. We are only a minute ahead though. Yep. 
Yep. And then we can do about path. There's all four of those. We'll take a temple garden. And we'll run out the Jagantha. Oh, Jake, yep. All right, fine, we'll put it on the bottom. Did forget that gets around that. Ooh, gotta watch that time. Play quick. Teferi, what do they bounce? All right. I gotta play quick. Uh, he's ahead of us in time, but I think we have it. And swing nine. Get nice. We did get there without the timeout. Oh, <laughs> had to play quick. All right. So yeah, we did. The, our time was got lower than theirs. So, but we had, had the win. So you had to go for it. Oh, 21 seconds to 52 seconds. I'm actually glad I stalled for time because had I not, he would have. Uh, we would not have had the time to do that. But yeah. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, uh, make sure to like, leave a comment. And if you, if you made it all the way to the end, consider subscribing to the channel for more content. This is Tectonic Edge here, signing out.